Hey y'all, welcome to my channel, Loving My Home with Tammy. I'm Tammy. By now y'all know that, <laughs> but I think that'd just be my catchphrase. Anyway, um, I'm so glad y'all are here today. Today we are in my master bedroom and I got this wild hair that I am going to move my vanity over to this side. And when we originally redid this room, if I can find pictures and figure out how to uh, post them, I'll show you what it looked like before. But here where we had this, um, I'm gonna show y'all, these French doors. These were not French doors when we moved in here. There were three windows, three windows wide. And uh, we decided that we wanted to put the French doors in because the dog pen is outside this door. So it made it so much easier to be able to let the girls out without having to put them on leashes, walk them around to the dog pen. It was safer for them, safer for us, and safer for everyone around. So anyway, um, whatever is best for them is what we want to do. So we put in the French doors. My husband is just so wonderful at, when I come up with these ideas in my head, he is so, so helpful in trying to get those things done for me. Um, I just appreciate him so much for that and uh, don't know what I would do without him. Anyway, so we put these doors in and when we did, we um, took all of the sheetrock off and we faux shiplapped it. So here's that. That's actually sheets of plywood that we cut down to uh, strips. We strip, ripped them on the table saw and did that. So anyway, my whole point of telling you that is that I wanted my vanity to go over here. When I get dressed in the morning at my vanity where it is, the sun comes in on the east and that's the east of my house. The front of my house is the west. So when it comes in, it glares off the mirrors and everything and makes it hard for me to see. And I see my hair ugh, a mess today. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to move that over here and we're going to see how that looks. So that means I'll have to rehang the mirror, figure out something I want to hang here. I don't know what yet, but I'll be on the lookout for that. I won't have that for this video because I haven't actually um, went as far as to start looking for something. But anyway, I will show y'all when I find it. I'm gonna move my little gray chair from over here. And there it is. My little gray chair, I'm gonna move it from there over to the where the vanity is. So after we do that, then we're gonna clean the master bedroom and get it all spiffy and ready for the week. Anyway, um, let's get started on this new project of mine. I'm gonna start by taking everything off of the vanity. Okay, I'm gonna to have to get a screwdriver to remove the screw so that I can put it over here. I need to get the measurements and mark that. So let's uh, do that. All right, I've got my handy dandy tape measure. So I'm gonna measure this size so I know how high up it needs to go. Okay, it's at 57 inches. So I'm going to get my Sharpie. Have that ready. Way in between the center, rather, and the tape measure is not 
off lady. Okay, so here is center. I'm gonna mark that with my Sharpie. There we go. If you remember, I had a little box hanging up there. I've already taken that down. And uh, I'm gonna place that somewhere over there. I'm not sure where. But anyway, okay, so now we've got this mark. I need to take those screws down. I need to take this screw down. And I'm gonna get my screwdriver, so I'll be right back. Got Daniel's drill, one of them. So now I'm gonna remove this screw. And then I'm gonna come over here and put it in the place that we marked. Y'all can see all the fun I'm having over here. Okay. Well, I gotta get through the all the stuff in the way. And then adjust the camera up. Alright, here we go. Let's see if I got you set up good. There we go. Maybe. This is some tough. <laughs> this is some tough plywood, let me tell you. See if I can get a different, take one of these out and see if it may go in better since it's in here already. Okay, let's try this one. See if I have better luck. There we go. Finally, gosh, gosh you think I couldn't screw in? Screw in, that's embarrassing. Okay, I'll have to come back and fill in those holes and get that taken care of. But finally, got that up. So let's see this mirror up and see how we did. Ugh, it's dirty. Should have got something to clean it with. I'll go back and get something. Y'all, I'm scared of mirrors. I don't need seven years back. <laughs> I'm just trying to make sure I got it up there because that's scary. Okay, I think it's there. So there. <laughs> Gosh, I can't believe it took me that long. Okay, so I'm gonna go get my Swiffer so I can feather dust that off because it's filthy. And then we'll start placing everything here. So I'll be right back. All right, I got my handy dandy Swiffer. So I'm gonna Swiffer back behind here, carefully. Well, here, I'm just gonna take it off because I can't see what I'm doing. Put it back up here. Oh, goodness gracious. with this mirror. I shouldn't have taken it off. There. Finally. Okay, there, now. Let me clean that. Swiffer this off, cause it's dirty. Y'all ever get these wild hairs in your head like me? 
I mean, it was probably fine over there, but no, I have to move it over here. Cause I know it makes that much of a difference in my house. But I do, that's what I do is I just sit and constantly thinking about, that'll look cuter over there. And I'm gonna move that over here or whatever. I'm just constantly doing stuff like that. Now, there's that. So I finally have that up. So now that I have it cleaned, I'm gonna go ahead and place the things back on it that goes on it. And then we will move the little chair over on the other side of the wall where I had those. So let me get that stuff. This is my magnifying mirror. I have to have that because putting on makeup is hard when you uh, can't see. That is an Avon bottle and it doesn't really have perfume in it. I just think he's cute since I'm a cat lady and all. I know I have lots of cats and there are times that I just want to kick them out of the house, but I can't stand the idea of them getting hurt outside either. So I just have to put up with all their mess. Anyway. And then I went shopping to tar at Target the other night cause I wanted a little lamp for right here. So I went through there Looking, 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 trying to find a lamp that I thought was cute. Let me show y'all what I picked out. This little glass lamp, isn't that cute? It was only $12, just $12. So cute with the shade. Can't hardly find lamps anymore cheap. Let me plug that in. Well, I actually have to get the blow dryer and stuff. I have this three-way plug because my my blower and my flat iron, what I use for my hair, I have to use one of these in order to plug all those in. Let me add that. And then I'll plug in my little lamp. And we go. Let me turn it down so y'all can see it. There we go. Okay, so I used to have my flat iron just laid here like that and I had a hook over here on the side to hang my blower but I thought to add a little decorative element and would make it so much cuter is to what well, I'm gonna plug them in first I had to move that plug that's why that went out and I've got those items plugged in back to what I was talking about for a decorative element I thought a basket would be cute down here and let me so I went outside to see what I could find I got this basket at Lowe's it's actually a planter but I just thought it was cute it has a little black bucket inside and I thought that would be cute sitting there with my blow dryer and my flat iron in there and then I could just put this away and then my counter is free and looks a lot nicer. So there's that. And then I have my little bench that we redid a few weeks back. And there's that. So there's my little vanity. All right, now we're gonna switch over to the other side. Okay, first I've gotta move the chair over. to clean the walls too because they're dirty so I have my chair here and now because I had more room a little more room I thought it'd be cute if I added a table next to it so let me get the little table I stole this table from my living room here's the little table I took I think I did a poll on that well I know I did y'all liked the circle or the rectangle one well, the circle one. So here it is. And um, like I said, I'm gonna find some artwork for up there. If you have any suggestions, let me know. I don't know exactly what to put up there yet. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna clean this table, uh, find some few accessories to put on there. And again, I'm cleaning with pledge and paper towel. Before I started the video, 
I scoured my house to look for things for decoration. I found these two black books here. I'm just gonna lay them here like that. I have this little bird and this little clock. So there's that. That's all I'm gonna put over here. So this side is done, except for, like I said, vacuuming the walls. But I'll do that another day. So now we're going to um, move over to the other side, clean over there, figure out where I'm gonna put my little cabinet that I had hanging up here that I took down. We'll figure out where to put that. And uh, I'll take y'all along on that. I've been washing the sheets. To, well, I actually didn't wash the sheets. I have a set of sheets. I've washed the quilt and pillow shafts for that. So we're gonna flip around, make up the bed, and then clean the surfaces on that side of the room. All right, I have the sheets. Bed's ready to make up, so let's do that. I wanted to rearrange this furniture. We used to have it this way. I had the headboard on that wall and the nightstand and then the dresser was always been there. And then the little chest of drawers was on this wall. So I got a wild hair that I wanted to do that again. So I was by myself and a lot of times I am when I come up with these. I started shoving and moving and got everything around. The rug was a hard to work with. and. Got everything over there and got the bed turned around and noticed I only had like this much room for my drawers on my dresser to open. I was like, what happened? Why ain't that working? I forgot. The bed that was on that wall was a queen. This is a king. So I had to move everything back. I was so exhausted though. Daniel helped me move it back. But sometimes my ideas get me in trouble. But anyway, okay, I've got the sheets on. I'm gonna go run and get the quilt. All right, I just got my quilt out of the dryer and I'm gonna make it up now. I forgot to do this side of the sheet. Now I showed you how I do that. So I had to do that real quick. Something under the covers. Oh, it's just a towel. <laughs> okay, all fun and games at my house. Y'all probably think I'm crazy, but sometimes you just gotta be there in order to make it through the day sometimes. Okay, now my, I don't have my throw across a quilt that I use for my pop of color. I'm gonna have to wash it, but it's that peach color that I, uh, why I bought the Cosmos that I have here, but I'll put that on after it's washed and dried. Right now we're just gonna make it up. And I took off all the extra pillows, so I don't have any more excess pillows. Just what he sleeps with. We just usually use one of these for either hugging up to it, or a lot of times we use them between our legs. Uh, Daniel has back issues and I'm having knee issues. Anyway, it helps to have a pillow between your legs. Relieve some of that pressure. And then we have the other pillow that's in the pillowcases that we use under our heads. And I have those right here. bed made up. So now we're going to um, clean each piece. So I'm going to move y'all over here. We're going to do the dresser first. So we're going to take everything off and clean it. Got 
that's that little hand towel. I got these Cosmos. When I decided to put that coral colored or peach colored comforter at the end of the bed or at the foot of the bed, I went and got these Cosmos from Hobby Lobby. I know a lot of y'all have noticed that Hobby Lobby's floral is now only at 40%. And I think at some point, everything is gonna eventually be at 40%. They are doing really good markdowns. Y'all don't maybe notice it like we do, being employees, we see it because we're the one that has to do the marking down. So, but it, there are a lot of things, even though those, even those things that are called the year price yellow stickers, some of those, like the other day, I marked down a glue gun. I marked it down like from $14.99 to $9.99. You know, that's a $4 drop. I mean, a $5 drop. So there are a lot of good markdowns. So he is trying to keep prices as low as he possibly can. I tell you one thing, since I started this channel, my house hasn't been this clean. It makes me have to stay on top of things more to keep my house clean and straight and everything, which is a good thing. I don't mind it at all. Nothing better than coming home to a clean house and not have to worry about straightening up and all that. I wish there was some way that I could get rid of these knots that keep come rubbing through, but I don't know how you do that. All right, so there's that. So let me put everything back. This little doily my friend Tracy bought for me. She bought me more than this. I think she got me like five or six um, little doilies at a garage sale. Anyway, I love doilies. And she knew that, so she grabbed those for me. And then this little love thing, I made that myself. have pictures of Daniel and I. So I'm showing you all those. One's our wedding picture. One's our engagement picture. And then I have his little catch-all there. And so now we're going to move over here to the chest of drawers and my little full-length mirror. I'm going to wipe down the little full-length mirror. This was my mom. She, uh, didn't have room for it anymore, so she asked if I wanted it. Of course, I said yes. It's uh, more aesthetically pleasing as far as decor than ones that hangs on the wall, which is what I had to start with. So, I like this mirror. You can check out how nice she look going to church or work or out for the day, but have a pretty decorative piece in your home at the same time. All right, now I've got that wiped down. And now we're going to wipe down the little chest of drawers here. I have this little heart and uh, I put some more Cosmos in there. And then I had it sitting on this little riser. Now I'm gonna set that riser back. And then that little chest that I had hanging up there, I'm actually going to sit it here is where I have found it looks the best. So let me get that and show that to y'all. Let me show y'all that. A reminder, that's all of the letters that we, not all of them, but the ones that I bundled up that are written uh, from him to me and him to, from him to me and me to him. And then I found that little figurine, which is a little army guy and a little girl hugging, which I just thought was so appropriate. So anyway, I think that looks cute there. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments if I should actually hang it back up on the wall somewhere or if you think that looks cute. All right, so now we're moving over to the nightstand. We're gonna wipe that down. So let me get all my cleaning stuff. I'm gonna wipe some of these walls down with this sweat. Those are just filthy. 
gross. It's doing a little bit of good. All right, now we're going to uh, wipe down the nightstand. have sitting on here is this little lantern. My husband sits his phone and everything here, so I just don't want to clutter that up. That's it. I just need to wash that quilt, vacuum the floors up, and then we're done with this room. So y'all let me know if I did good by switching that around or if I made a mistake. Also, I have another question. Uh, should I leave the little table black? or should I paint it the color of the furniture? You know, I do have black accents in here. I have a black and white rug. The handles and uh, knobs on all the stuff in the room are black. Uh, the curtain rod is black. I'm gonna soon paint the headboard. I wanna lift it up a little higher. And I also wanna paint it, well, actually it's all rub bronze, but it looks black. And uh, so yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think. You can do that in the comments below. I want to thank y'all again for stopping by and watching my crazy life. I appreciate it so much. And y'all, don't forget, I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. I'm at around 410 to 415. Um, I got a little ways to go, but I need your help. Um, y'all need to just share it with everyone you know. And uh, I do have a gift card that I'm going to be giving away when I hit that thousand subscriber mark. And I need your help. So anyway, just keep that in mind. I really do appreciate all um, of y'all coming back and watching me. Uh, be sure to subscribe, share, give me a thumbs up. And again, y'all have a great week. Thanks again, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.